Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Art Studio. And as I was working to this evening, yes, I'm working, getting ready to get uh, all squared away for the Dallas show. Um, I decided to do a quick applique of one of my patterns. And so I thought I'd film just what the process is. And I use this stuff called Applistic. I mean, heat and bond, they're all the one and the same. You know, they come, and let me just open this so that you can see. Um, this stuff is Alex Anderson recommends, I'm, and I'm big on her stuff. Floriani um, carries it. It it comes out, and I'm going to show you, so you can see this sticky side, right? And this is what I have just ironed on the back of the Longhorn that I, I did earlier. Um, I'm going to actually bring over the piece of paper that I've peeled from him. So it was originally like that, peeled it off. Now it's sticky. Okay, so the, the, the sticky part's now gone. Now I'm going to move the box over um, and just show you what I'm going to do here. Now this is going to be a little interesting test because what you're going to see when I flip Mr. Longhorn over, or cow skull or whatever you want to call him, He's all blinged out. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, bling sometimes shows up, sometimes it doesn't. But I really love this kind of southwesterny background. Um, I've been trying to, ever since I did this, I'm really fired up about this. And I'm going to do a video on how to color this sucker once I'm done. But boy, um, it was for a client who specifically requested it. And I'm really, really glad she did. So um, I'm going to come back and go through how I colored it and also which blings I, I used on it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nifty little iron and this is a, a pretty decent sized sheet of um, or yardage of, of batik and I'm just kind of slapping it on here because then I can, I think I'm going to probably put this on a pillow um, but for the Dallas show, I just wanted something for it to be on, on a background that was a little bit more, less boring than white. So here's, you, here's, here's how you do this. It's very easy. Hot iron, um, set at, hold on. You can see that maybe cotton setting and voila. Um, just ironing this sucker down. Now, one of the things that I probably should have done, and I'll point this out after I get this thing ironed, um, and I don't think it takes very long, like uh, a, a, a few seconds um, to hold this down. I'm, let me get it in the, in the video. Sorry, I'm the world's worst. You guys know that. Um, his little tip isn't holding down, which is fine. I mean, I don't really care because ultimately what I will end up doing is um, since I like this so much, I will probably put it um, on the long arm and I will stitch around the black area. So you can see, Nick, except for that tip right there, I'll maybe put a little glue, but he's, he's, he's down. Um, so he went great with the bling. So this is just a kind of FYI. Um, you can go ahead and put heat and bond or this applistic or whatever you use to apply your um, stick your appliques onto the back of fabric you can do it with the bling on it so that's short and sweet and simple about the applistic stuff that i used and stay tuned for um, how to color this really cool looking cow skull um, it is ultimately hopefully going to be a part of some kind of southwestern quilt that I will create here in the near future. But in the meantime, um, enjoy and as always, thanks for watching.